Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Mason Smith here with Alec Eichel and Kevin Murphy. It's a nice, slightly windy, but mostly chilly day at Frontier Regional High School. Um, first baseball game that we're covering this season is the Frontier Red Hawks against the Hopkins Golden Hawks. So both teams are undefeated at the moment, 2-0 record. So one team is going to leave here with that record intact and the other one is going to leave with a loss. All right, first pitch of the game from Liam skrivisky Banik is a ball. Second's going to be a hit out into the outfield and caught by Grayson Luce. That's going to be out number one for the top of the first. West up to bat now for the Golden Hawks. First pitch is going to be a ball, I look like. A little bit low, maybe on the inside. He's a lefty. Second pitch is a strike. So a one and one count. West, the first baseman for the Golden Hawks. Bit of a higher pitch this time, and it's going to be a ball, maybe a little outside. Hard to tell with this angle. There's a hit from West out into center field, and a nice catch there. by Nico Fasulo. <laughs> Two outs for the Golden Hawks now. <laughs> Fitzgibbon's up now. Skrbisky Bannock's pitch. That's gonna be a strike right at his waist. Pitch number two, line drive to loose and right to Bryant for the out. Three up and three down for Skrbisky Bannock. And we'll be back in a few moments with the bottom of the first. Hmm. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. It's the bottom of the first, and Alex Gochinski is up to bat for the Red Hawks. First pitch, swing, and it looked like a foul tip. So strike one. And this is Fitz Gibbons on the mound for the Golden Hawks. His second pitch is gonna be high, ball one. So a one and one count for Gochinski. Swing and a hit. Straight to the shortstop and he's gonna throw it over the first baseman and an out. Fasulo up to bat now. Fly ball near the foul line and it's gonna land fair. Single for Nico Fasulo. First hit of the game and first for the Red Hawks. As Grayson Luce steps up to bat. <laughs> 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 
pitch from Fitzgibbons. Hits straight back to him, and he's going to throw to second. Get Fasulo out, and the double play, not in time. So two outs. But Frontier's got a runner on first as their pitcher, Liam Skrabisky Bannock, is going to step up to the plate. Pitcher on pitcher. And he's going to take ball one. Second pitch is hit to the first base coach. Fitzgibbons tries to pick off loose, unsuccessful. Two-one count now on Skrbisky Bannock. And there's a hit. Going to go to the second baseman. And they'll get him at first, third out. So that'll be the end of the first inning. Score is 0-0. Frontier with two hits on the Golden Hawks so far. And we'll be back in just a few moments with the top of the second. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel. It's the top of the second. And we've got Flynn up to bat. Two balls, no strikes on the at-bat. And here's the third pitch. There's the first strike. Low, just around his knees. Fourth pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two. Another swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. <laughs> Flynn went down swinging, so that's out number one of the inning. And now Ishida's going to step up to bat. First pitch from Skrbisky Bannock. Inside, but it's going to be a strike. Another inside pitch. That one's going to be a ball. One one count. Inside again, and it's going to be a little bit high. 2-1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Counts even at two. Swing and a miss. Second out of the inning for Skrubisky Bannock. Fifth of the game. Hey, 
And now shortstop Earl at the plate. Here's the pitch. Inside strike. Right at his waist. Wind up swing and it's going to go foul into the forest. Oh, and he's hitting the back of the head. Elman yeah. almost got knocked off. Jeez. How many pictures do I have up? Walks it off, and he gets the first. First player on base for the Red Hawks. For the Golden Hawks, excuse me. West up to bat. There is two Wests. This is A West. Other one was C West. Don't know if they're first names. Sorry, guys. That's hit. To the outfield. And now the Golden Ox have two runners on base, first and second. Skrbisky Bandit getting into a little bit of trouble. But the Golden Ox already have two outs on this top of the inning. Pitt's going to be outside. Ball one. Golden Ox third baseman. Take strike one. One and one count. Runners taking leads on the bag. Swing and fouled off into the forest again, right over our heads. And there's strike three. Skrubisky Bannock is going to leave two runners on the bag there. So we'll be back in a few moments with the bottom of the second. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel. It's bottom of the second right now and there's ball one for Ethan Bryant's at bat. His first at bat at the game. And here's pitch number two. He'll stare it down, there's ball two. Swing and a miss, strike one. There's the pitch, high and outside, ball three. Brian's starting to think about a walk here. See if he'll take a swing at this. And he will. Popped out to the foul line. And it's caught. So it's out number one. 
And up steps Wyatt Edis to home. Pitch one is going to be swung at and missed. It's going to stare that one down. A little bit of high and maybe a little outside too. One and one. And there's a hit. Going to the second baseman. And the first baseman's going to drop the ball. Eat is safe at first. Crossing up to bat now. First pitch is going to be low, right about at his ankles. There it is. He brings it up a little bit, and it's going to be strike one. And there's the shot. Foul. Two strikes on the count now. There's another pitch swung at. High fly ball. It's going to go to the second baser and it's caught and he just tags up. Keeping himself alive on the first base. Aiden West stepping up to the plate with two outs. Still no score on this game. Ball one. Swing and foul it off into the dugout. Caught barehanded by Ethan Bryant. Fitzgibbons might have a little trouble with this at bat. West being a lefty. Swing fouled off again. There's a ball. Count even at two. Swing and a miss. That's out number three. That'll retire the inning. So, still no score. Frontier has the only hits in this game so far. And we will be right back with the top of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Oh boy, and there's a hit. Shallow center field, it's gonna get by Nico Fasulo. 
What a hit right there. That was by Aloisi. Second baseman for the Golden Hawks. That's the first hit of the game for them. Now we're back to the top of the batting order with Beckwith. He's going to bunt it. Sacrifice bunt right there. Advances the runner to second. So one out. Runner at second. And C West up to bat. High pitch, ball one. Ball two. Oh, excuse me, that was a strike. My fault. Counts one and one. Low strike. Falling out of the catcher's mitt there. Counts one and two. Aloisi taking a bit of a lead there on second base. Ball two. Counts even. Swing and a hit. It'll be just foul of first base. Strike three. Two outs in this top half. And Fitzgibbons up to bat now. Catcher for the Golden Hawks. Swing and a miss. Aloisi might start thinking about stealing. Krabisky <laughs> Bannock checks on him. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Oh boy. Almost hit him on the head again. <laughs> Pop fly. Heads up, everyone. That's going to go into the forest again. Ethan, you protect me, okay? Not sure what the count is at the moment. Ball is going to be thrown in the dirt by Skrbisky Bannock. Count's 
Counts even at two. And there's ball three, it's a full count. Full count, with one out I think, pretty sure. Man on second, swing and a miss, he's out. And that'll be out number three, I miscounted. So Skrbisky Bandit gets through the pressure of that at bat. And Frontier is gonna try and get a run or two on the board. When we come back in just a few moments with the bottom of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Alec Eichel, Kevin Murphy. Caden James is up to bat for the Red Hawks against Flynn. He'll take strike one right down the middle. James takes ball one and the count's gonna be even at one. Swing and it's going to be foul tipped behind him. One and two. Or two and one, excuse me. So now it's two and two. Swing and a miss. There's the first out of the inning. Guchinski steps up to the plate. We're back at the top of the batting order. That way last time, right? That way last time. Inside, ball one. Low pitch. 2 0 count. Go, Gucci. Swing and a hit. Going out into center left field. Kuczynski rounds first and he's going to slow it down. Not going to go for two. There's a nice single in the books for him. Hey, fell in over here last time. He's behind and he drifted. Yep. The one that fell back there. Go for heads up. Hey, let's wait. This is Nico Fasulo. Seven up with a point six two five batting average. High pitch, gonna stare it down. Ball one. Swing foul behind him. Sulo playing center field for the Red Hawks, if I remember right. Swing's going to be low and inside, or outside rather, but it'll be a strike. 2 1. Flynn with the pitch. 3 1. See if he'll try for the walker. He's, if he's going to take a slice at it, he will. 
And a slow grounder, he'll get out. And a throw to third as Gochinski tries for it. It gets by the third baseman. Gochinski is gonna make it home. And there's the first run of the game for the Red Hawks. Sacrifice RBI there for Nico Fasulo. Bases are cleared though. Uh, yes. this one with the second, right? And Grayson Luce is up to bat. One out in the books. And a check swing. That's a strike. Full swing there and it'll still be a strike. 0-2 count. I think there's actually two outs, now that I think about it. Strike three. There it is. So that'll be the third out. After some nice running by Alex Kochinski and Frontier comes out on top. one nothing. We'll be back in just a few moments with Hopkins at bat. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Alec Echol, Kevin Murphy. Foul tip on the first pitch for Flynn. Skrbisky Bannock pitching against his fellow pitcher. Pitch number two. Going to be inside, it looks like. Ball one. One ball and one strike. And here's the pitch. High. Ball two. Swing and foul it out into the parking lot. Let's hope everyone's cars are okay. <laughs> High pitch. That brings it to a full count now for Flynn. And here's the pitch from Skrbisky Bannock. Swing and a hit. It's going to go out into the outfield. Tracked and caught. Nice play there by Brady Pareda. Low pitch. Ball one. Against the Shida. And there's another hit. Back to Pareda. And he'll catch that one too, two outs. It's Earl at the plate now. Skrbisky Bannock trying for another three and out inning. 
Strike one. And another hit. Line drive out to Vasulo in center field. Hops out of his glove as he tries to bring it in. And Earl gets the first. It's A. West now. Still don't know his first name. Maybe we'll get there. Get on a first name basis. There's the pitch in the dirt. And Earl's not going to try for second. Hit and fouled in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> that one looked like it might have landed like the driving lane. I'm right between a bunch of cards. Here's the pitch outside. It's going to be a ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a hit. That was about six inches away from hitting someone's window. Jeez. Almost hit the school's van, too. <laughs> Pitch from Skrubisky Bannock. And he's trying for second. James throw. Not in time, and a little bit of a collision over there. Guess it was out number three. I missed the call on the strike, so that'll be the end of the top half of this inning. So we'll be back in a few moments with the Red Hawks at bat. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel. Skrubisky Bannock up to bat for the Red Hawks. It's 1-0 in their favor. And the pitch from Flynn is immediately fouled off into the woods. Over the backstop. Another pitcher v. pitcher matchup here. Flynn's pitch. Low. Count even at one now. There's an outside pitch. 2-1 is the count. And there's strike two. Two and two now. Ethan Bryan on deck for the Red Hawks. And a low pitch, gonna bring it to a full count. First at bat of this inning. Or this half of the inning, rather. <laughs> Swing and a hit. Gonna go to the second baseman.
And there's the first out. Nice easy play for the infielders and Ethan Bryan is up to bat. Pitch inside. Swing and a hit going into the woods again. Count's going to be 1 1. Flynn's pitch on the way. Brian took a slice at it, but it was way outside. Going to be a foul. And it's 1 2. Swung out and hit this time, goes straight back to Flynn. And a nice gentle throw. Two outs for the Red Hawks. And Edis at the plate now. Pitch swung out and missed. Swing and a hit, going to the second baseman. And there's the third out. Some nice infield plays from the Golden Hawks. It's going to retire the side. And we'll be back in a few moments with the top of the fifth, I think it is. Fifth inning. Yep. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel. First pitch from Skrubisky. Bandic is swung out and missed. <clears throat> High pitch this time, a little bit over his head, is going to be make the count one and one. Swing and foul tipped right into the dirt. Pitch on its way, swung, and it's going to stay fair. And the throw is going to get over Bryant. Yeah, he'll advance to second on the wild throw, and looks like they're. Yeah. Pinch runner is going to step in. Not sure who the pinch runner is, but. Pitch from Skrubisky-Bannock. 
Nice, right down the middle. That's going to be a strike. <laughs> Low outside, ball one. He's going to bunt it. Out at first, but the runner's going to advance to third. Looks like we're back to the top of the order. Back with, swing and a miss. And it gets past James, the catcher. Runner's not gonna go for it though. If I remember right, there's only one out on this inning. The Golden Hawks already have a runner in scoring position. Strike two, though. Skrbisky Bannock trying to make up on some lost ground here. Swing and fouled into the woods. It's off a tree. Pitch on its way. Hi, it's going to be a ball. Time called. Pitch inside, it's another ball. Full count. Runner on third. Here's the pitch. Swung and popped up over our heads and into the woods. Count still at full. Pitch from Skrubisky Bannock. Fouled off again into the backstop. Got a nice little battle going on here. Here's the pitch. Ball four, and he's going to walk him. Runners on first and third for Skrbisky Bannock. And number two, C. West, is going to step up. There's the pitch. Beckwith steals second unopposed. Hey, pick me up 
Two runners in scoring position for the Golden Hots right now. With a good hit, they could take the lead. There's another ball. Excuse me, just the first ball. <laughs> Counts one and one. There's ball number two. Skrbisky Bannock almost gets by James there right between his legs. Three and one. Pitch swung on and missed. Now we're at another full count. Skrbisky Bandit got to be feeling the pressure right now. Runners on second and third, both taking leads. Full count. Here's the pitch. And he got him, swinging. There's the second out. It looks like it's an intentional walk for right about that. So now there's a force out at every base for the Golden Hawks. And it's Flynn up to bat again for the Golden Hawks. Pitcher on pitcher. Bases loaded, two outs. Swing and a hit, right back to Skrbisky Bannock. And he'll end it. Red Dogs get out of a tight situation there and the score remains in their favor. One to nothing. We'll be back in a few moments with the bottom of the fifth. I believe it's still the fifth. Bottom of the fifth in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Echol, rest of the FCAT crew. It's the bottom of the ninth, front and two, not ninth, fifth, my god. <laughs> Long day, I guess. Bottom of the fifth. Tyler Cousins up to bat for the Red Hawks, and he'll take a ball as the first pitch. Oh boy. Um, Frontier is ahead, one nothing. And an outside pitch there, going to be ball two. He's going to send that pitch into the outfield. And it's going to get caught and he's out. And that will bring Aiden West up to bat. So one down for Flynn. And now he's facing a lefty. Swing and a hit into the dugout. Caught by Bryant barehanded. Second time we've heard that tonight. <laughs> Get ready, Get ready, Get ready, Get ready, 
pitch from Flynn. Low and outside. Ball one. There's a hit. Short of the first baseman. They're not going to get it in time. Aiden West safe at first. By about a step and a half. So one out, man on first. And Caden James up to bat. West called safe at first after a pickoff at pickoff attempt. Cold starting to get to me. Ball thrown into the dirt. Catcher's gonna grab it though and prevent West from stealing second. Strike there. Right across the letters. There's the pitch. Inside. Ball. <clears throat> Two balls, one strike. Pick off at first. No good. He'll be safe. Looks like the ball fell out of his glove too when he tried to hit him with it. Here's the pitch to James. He's going for second. And he's safe. Close play at the bag. Goes in favor of the Red Hawks. Three and one. Yep, three and ones count for James. Here's the pitch. Strike two, full count. And a runner at second. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, he's out. Two out and a man on second for the Red Hawks. We're already up one to nothing. Alex Kochinski now top of the order. Swing and a hit, line drive. Gets through the hole and Ain West is gonna come home. Throw not in time. But he's out. Kochinski out. At second, after he tried for a double, the run will count though. So that's the end of the fourth inning. Fifth? Fifth inning. That's the end of the fifth inning. And Frontier now on top, two to nothing. We'll be right back in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy, and Tom Albert. Ball one from Skrbisky Bannock. Against Ashita, swing and a hit. Is it gonna stay fair? It won't. Foul ball. Nice strong hit though. So that'll be one and one for Ashida. Inside pitch, ball two. I 
Here comes the pitch. It's going to be chopped up into the woods again. Two strikes and two balls on the count. And there's a strike three for Ishida. One down for Skrbisky Bannock. Ooh, pitch gonna go off his back. Second hit by pitch today by Skrbisky Bannock. That was Earl. And A West up to bat now. Stares down the ball. Swing and a hit. Looks like it might go foul, but it'll drop fair. There's a nice single for A West. Runners on first and second. Swing and a hit to the third baseman. Throws it to first and he got him. Two outs. Runners on second and third for the Golden Hawks. And up to bat is Aloisi. Runners take leads. Strike taken by the second baseman. There's a second pitch fouled off into the backstop. Golden Knox looking to tie it up right now. And they can do it with a well placed hit by Aloisi. High pitch, it's going to be a ball. One and two. Another high pitch, way over his head this time. And the count's even at two. Two outs, Skrbisky Bannock. There's the hit from Aloisi, and a run's gonna get home. Throw to first, not in time. Aloisi with an RBI single to put the Golden Hawks on the board. It's two to one. And Hopkins still has a runner in scoring position at third.
Back to the top of the order with Beckwith. Aloisi doesn't steal on the pitch. Skrbisky Bannock. Strike. Counts one and one. Aloisi takes the lead. Beckwith fouls it right over our heads. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a hit, it's gonna go to center field. Nico Vasulo. There's the third out. The Red Hawks escape from the inning with just one run scored. Still on top, but only by one now. We'll be back in a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eichel, and Tom Alver. It's the bottom of the six, Nico Fasulo up to bat. And Flynn still on the mound for the Golden Hawks. Grayson loose on deck. First pitch swung at, tipped off. Oh and one, here's the pitch. He's gonna take ball one. Pitch from Flynn. Swung out and hit. It's going to go right in between the shortstop and the second baseman right over the bag. And there's a nice little single for Nico Fasulo. Good start to the inning for the Red Hawks. Loose at the plate. Pitch gets by the catcher, and Fasulo takes second, rounds it, looks at third, and decides not to take it. Here's the pitch from Flynn. Low outside, ball two. Strike one, coming from Flynn. Foul tip from Loose. And Fasulo has stolen the third. Takes a big lead. Swung out and missed for strike three. That's out number one for Flynn. And Skrbisky Bannock is going to step up to the plate. Hey, 
Red Hawks have a runner in scoring position on third. Here's the pitch. Foul tip back into the stop. And a strong hit out to the center fielder. Caught and Fasulo tags up. It's the third run for the Red Hawks. So now the score is three to one with just one at bat left for the Golden Hawks. They're gonna wanna close out this inning fast if they want a chance of coming back. Ethan Bryant, low pitch inside. That's ball one. And there's ball two. High and outside. And here's Flynn again. There's a strike. Two and one now. One out, no one on base. Swing and a hit. It's gonna get into the hole there. And a single for Bryant. It's gonna bring. That's gonna bring Edis up to bat. And Gabe Salodke is going to be a pinch hitter for Bryant. Two outs, runner on first. And a foul into the backstop. Pitch hit and it's going to go to the right fielder, thrown into third. It's in time and he's out. That's going to end the bottom of the six, it looks like. Official's still talking. He's called safe, it's overturned. Wow. So an interesting call right there by the officials. Edis gets the single and Salad Keys on third. Tyler Cussin up to bat now. Still two outs. Frontier looking to their to extend their lead to three runs. Catcher signals a play. Swing and a deep hit, oh boy! That's gonna go back all the way to the fence. Edis rounds home. And a two RBI double for Tyler Cussin.
Makes it a five to one game. Still two outs on the inning. Cussing on second for the Red Hawks. And Aiden West up to bat. Strike one. Gonna take it just above the knees. Swing and a miss, strike two. Here's the pitch. Swing and foul it off into the parking lot. Ooh, and you heard of that one. Yikes. Hope that car is okay, whoever it is. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's gonna end the sixth inning. And the Golden Hawks are gonna have to put together a pretty nice rally in the top of the seventh here as they're down five to one. We'll be back in a few moments with that. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy, Tom Albert, and Mason Smith. It's the top of the seventh. Hopkins' last opportunity to take this game back. They're down five to one, and strike one is taken with a swing by C. West. Skrbisky Banik is going to remain on the mound for this last inning. Ball one there. A little bit low. Ball two, high this time. There's the pitch, swung on and he tipped it. So two and two is the count. Skrbisky Bannock. It's gonna go in the dirt. Full count and the cold might be getting to him. Here's the pitch. Ball four, he's gonna walk him. So with no outs and a runner on first, Hopkins catcher Fitzgibbons is gonna step up to the plate. Pitch high and inside, ball one. There's strike one. One and one count. Skrbisky Banik looked for a pick off there.
Here's the pitch. And a line drive right by him. It's going to get out into the center field. And a single for Fitzgibbons. And here we go again. Pitcher versus pitcher. Flynn at the paint. Pitch swung out and tipped into the backstop. Strike one. There's a line drive out into center left. Throw's going to go to Tyler Cusson, and the bases are loaded. No outs. Coach Williams coming out to the mound and looks like there's going to be a pitching change. So we'll take a quick break while Frontier's new pitcher warms up. We'll be right back in a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, Tom Albert, and Alec Eckel. Frontier's got a new pitcher on the mound. It's their right fielder, Wyatt Edis, and his first pitch is going to be a ball. He's got no outs in the books. Three men on base. Umpire takes a moment to quiet down the Hopkins bench. And it's Ishida up to bat for the Golden Hawks right now. Here's the pitch. Outside, it's going to be ball two. Edis. Low, ball three. Runners taking leads. And there's strike one. Three and one count. Is he just going to be able to bring it back? Here's the pitch. Strike two. It's a full count. Oh, boy. Full count, no outs, bases loaded. Here's the pitch. And strike three, he got him. Oh boy. There's the first out. And now it's Earl. Who got it? hit by a pitch at his last at bat. Pitch from Edis. Strike right at his waist. Hopkins down by four. 
There's a swing and a hit. It's going to get by Gochinski. Two runners come in. And it's a two RBI single for Earl. It's a two run game. One out. Runners on first and third for the Golden Hawks. And A. West is up to bat. Once again, the score is three to five. Pitch is a little outside and a little high, it looked like. Ball one. Pitch from Edis. Hit. Goes to Gochinski. And he'll get him out at second. But the runner is going to score. So now it's a one run game. West on first. And Bai is up to bat. Strike one. One run game, one out. Runner on first, and one strike on the count. Runner goes for second, throw, not in time. Runner on second now for the Golden Hawks. Here's the pitch to buy. Swing and a hit. Gets over Bryant. And the tying run out of the plate. He'll make it. And buy is safe at first. It's a tie game. One out, Aloisi at the plate for the Golden Hawks. They got a runner on first. Two outs, it's my fault. One strike on Aloisi. And there's ball one. Not sure, not sure if they're going to go to extra innings. If the score stays like this, I think they will. Inside. And he's hit right across the chest. That's three batters hit by pitchers from Frontier this game. Two outs, runners on first and second. Tie game. Pinch runner coming in. Not sure who it is. Don't have him on the roster. No number eight. But here's Beckwith at the plate. Low and outside. Ball one. 
Hopkins really wants this next run. Ball two. Frontier is still going to have a chance to take the lead back after this top half. Strike one. Two and one count. Eat is from the mound. Swung on and tipped. Strike two. Counts even. Here's the pitch from Edis. It's going to go into the dirt. Stop by James. Full count. Two outs. Tie game and the runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. Runners going. And it's ball four. Bases are loaded with two outs and it's a tie game. Tie game, two outs, bases loaded, and Cody West up to bat for the Golden Hawks. Eden gets the strike. Runners take a lead on the bases. Here's the pitch. There's the hit. And an error by Luce. Gets by Bryant. And the runners are coming in. The score is seven to five now. Two runs have scored. Just in one inning, Frontier's whole lead is blown. Ball one against the catcher, Fitzgibbons. Petromidis, strike. Count is 1 1. Still two outs. And a hit. It's high and deep. They're going back to the wall. It's going to land in the outfield. Fitzgibbons rounding third. Two RBI triple for Fitzgibbons. And it's 9 to 5 in favor of the Golden Hawks. It's not 
Flynn takes ball one against Edis. Hopkins still has a runner in scoring position on third. Swung at and missed, strike one. Pitch from Edis. Strike two. Right across the letters. And a one two count on Flynn. Fouled into the parking lot. Count still one and two. He is looking to put this inning to rest. Here's the pitch. Fouled back over the backstop again. Edis. There's a hit, gets by Tyler Cusson, and the run's gonna get home. 10 to five. And it's a single for Flynn. Sheeta up to bat and a pop fly. Back and over the dugout. Thought that James might have been able to get that for a little bit there. Runner going, check swing by Ishida, and James isn't going to try the throw. Pitch from Edis over Ishida's head. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Hopkins up by five. And they've got a runner on second. Pitch hit to Gochinski. Throw to first in time, and he's out. And there comes the end of a painful half of an inning for Frontier. They came into it up five to one, and now they're down 10 to five. Let's see if they can come back in the bottom of the seventh. We'll be right back in a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tom Alber, Alec Eckel and Kevin Murphy. It's the bottom of the seventh. Hopkins just scored nine runs in the top. And now Frontier is down 10 to five. Caden James up to bat against Flynn. And it's strike one. And there's ball one. Frontier needs at least five, Frontier needs five runs to send this to extra innings. Low pitch in the dirt is going to be ball two. Let's go, 
Pitch from Flynn. Ball three. Counts three and one. Pitch from Flynn. Strike two, it's a full count. Here's the pitch, swung out and missed. Strike three, he's out. He could have sent that deep into the outfield. Powerful swing right there. And here's Alex Gochinski at the plate. Flynn from the mound. Low and inside, ball one. Strike one, right at his waist. One and one count. One out for the Red Hawks. Swung at, pop fly, it's going foul, but Cotton, he's out. Two outs down for Flynn. And the Golden Hawks are inching closer to an incredible comeback. And here's Fasulo. Strike one. Up to Fasulo to give Frontier something to work with. And there's strike two. Flynn can close out the game with this pitch. There it is. Swung at, hit to the shortstop. In time, and he's out. And the Hopkins Golden Hawks pull off an incredible comeback. Nine runs in the top of the seventh with a final score of 10 to five. They're gonna leave the game with a three and oh record. Wins intact. And Frontier now with two and one. An incredible game from both teams. And once again, the score, 10 to five, Golden Hawks on top. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television.